I did a um, skate video, skate vlog, where I was attempting to go from Rochester to Kokomo, from Rochester to Kokomo, all the way down the 44 mile nickel plate trail. We are starting off much earlier in the day for attempt number two. So as you can see, we're here at the same, uh, oh look, end trail. It's even right there. So literally from the start of the nickel plate trail, um, What's cool is I am in much better shape this year than I was last year. Uh, time, I physically do, but more so time-wise. Last time we started at like seven o'clock at night, which pretty much guaranteed that it was gonna be dark before we even got halfway. Today, this time, we are starting at about 2.30 p.m. So if this takes us even six and a half hours, we will still make it in time into Kokomo in time to see the sunset. So here we go. Skate vlog. pavement hasn't weathered so it's like it's really smooth there are some sticks the debris was worse back in Rochester and I think that was really only because of the storms we've had in the past two weeks is what littered the, the trail and debris otherwise I assume it will be nice and smooth like it has been so all right so as you can see we have made it to Wagner, that's the first stop in our 44 mile skate trip all the way down to the plate track. This is what we're doing and we're, we just passed Macy. All the way down to Kokomo. Also, I used to have that shirt. How pathetic is that? Okay, now you know. which when you look it up on the map doesn't even show up literally not even on the map but this is Busico guess those few houses right there Busico. now you know
Yep, Denver. And this right here seems to be a perfect spot. Let me take a look real quick at where Denver is. So, Denver, so there's Rochester. We are, what? What would you say? About 60% of the way to Peru. 60% of the way to Peru. All right, so much like last time, I have a backpack full of gear. This includes over a gallon of water, as well as some dry clothes that I've wrapped in a bag in the hopes that they stay that way. Um, some diet approved snacks. I'm on a diet, which is pretty much my permanent diet right now. It's essentially a pescatarian minus with a bunch of other restrictions on it. Basically no processed foods, no high saturated fats, only whole grain wheat stuff, that kind of thing. Anyways, so I'm going to take, oh, five, ten minutes here at this little pit stop in Denver. I'm going to eat something. I'm going to get, uh, I brought one of those like carnation high protein shakes. I'm going to get one of those in my belly so that I've got plenty of fuel for the rest of the trip. And I'm probably going to smoke a little bit before I get going. So keeping you updated as we progress. Oh, the one thing that I'm missing that I should probably have, especially seeing as how on attempt one, I fell in the pitch black dark is knee pads, elbow pads, maybe even a helmet. Um, and I was able to find one of my workout gloves, which have like this fleshy padding on the palm, which is great because if you fall, you don't mess up your palms. But we were only able to find one and I didn't want to do like this Michael Jackson thing with like one workout glove. So we, uh, we decided not to do that. Okay, so I want to show you there is a very special secret trick to using the bathroom on these really long trail journeys, okay? I'm going to tell you what it is right here. So what you do is you look left, you look right, nobody's coming, you find a bathroom. The trail coming into quarter has been very rough. The uh, trees, although beautiful scenery, once I'm covering the trail, drop lots of little twigs, lots and lots of little twigs. So every few seconds, I've been tripping over myself. I haven't fallen down, but I keep tripping. One of my wheels stop when I hit little twigs. Some of them are big enough to roll over, but that still slow you down when you hit them. Okay, so we have finally reached the Peru part of the trail. So this is what we've got to do. We have to, and I'll show you instead of on this map, on like actual map that I've captured, like from the laptop. Now what we're going to end up having to do is go on a country road, cross 24, US 24, and go through Coke, I mean through Peru, via Broadway Street to Main Street, take Main Street until this trail starts again. So we'll uh, give you some video footage of that, as well as drawing out the map and hopefully how far it actually is from one part of the trail 
from basically the southern end of the trail to the northern end of the trail. From through. So let's get with it. Somewhat busy road. It's pretty though. It's scary at night where there's no lights. It's pretty during the day. And it is a very rough road, so you can feel all the vibration on your feet. This is when, if you haven't already tightened your laces, make sure you do so so your feet's not sliding around. Keep your crumb. Talk about dangerous escape. The highway is pretty much always number one. You think they don't see my motorcycles? They doubly don't see skaters. And the median, the side over here, the shoulder always has little pebbles. Always. All the pebbles that would have been on the highway end up in the shoulder. So super dangerous. Knee pads, elbow pads, helmet, car. These are all good safety measures for the highway. I've been getting lots of honks and waves. I can't tell if that's Hey, get the fuck out of the road, or hey, it's a skater. This used to be a blockbuster. <laughs> if you've watched the first vlog, you've seen all this before, but it was at night. Whereas now, we're seeing it during the day, all lit up so i'm really excited to show you guys not only most likely the area that i fell in the middle of the night last time we did this but also the freaking scene because south of peru heading towards bunker hill is absolutely gorgeous and then we get more of the same kind of trail and everything that we had kind of north of peru so we're going to go ahead and continue. I'm not even going to stop right here. There are some benches along the way that I will be able to stop at. Part of it on the side <clears throat> and i'm still going uphill at this moment nothing about this trail has changed me being in the fucking dark last time 
had nothing to do with this trail being shit, okay? Not only are there fucking twigs everywhere, twigs and rocks, but there's, it's so uneven. Like, you hear that? You hear that? South of Peru, unskatable. Officially made it past the spot from attempt number one, and I think we have, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour before sunset, which should give us maybe just enough time to get into Kokomo so that we can see Kokomo all lit up at night with a nice, clean, smooth trail. So, here we go through Bunker Hill. means we're the less than like two miles from actually being in Kokomo and this trail smooths out almost immediately. Yes and no. Now granted this is one of the newer parts of the trail so it would be a little smoother. It says you are here where city of Kokomo and we have to go all the way down the trail through downtown which will be really pretty all the way to the very end down here past American Legion golf course is where I have my car parked this is gonna be the last tough part of the trail here there's Chrysler because it's uphill.
absolutely exhausted, but that is the entire Nickel Plate Trail. I've done it. 44 miles complete. And now I'm ready to relax. Whew. Okay, so the math aftermath after uh, yesterday's 44 mile skate uh, is essentially just a few blisters on like the bottom of my feet, as well as um, so ankles. Okay, pretty much on both sides. I think I had some on the other side too. I guess not. Um, I felt it rubbing yesterday on this side, but it apparently didn't make a mark. So just there. Um, and like I said, some some blisters on the uh, bottom of my feet. But from the time you get into Kokomo, it's super skatable. From Rochester down to Denver, very skatable. Basically, from the from where it picks up at Peru all the way down to Kokomo, almost unskatable. Uh, so much debris, so many skates like it would take. They basically would need to sweep it for it to be um, good. So will I do it again? No, not that one. Uh, just because a large chunk of it is almost unscatable. Uh, great for bikes, for walking, but for skates, it's a no-go. And that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, so as far as recovering uh, from 44 miles, naturally last night when I finished, my legs were killing me. I was exhausted. I made sure to eat lots of carbohydrates. Um, also, potassium is very important. I had a banana with uh, some protein and carbohydrates. And so today, um, my muscles, my leg muscles aren't even sore. I'm good. Good to go. I'll be ready for uh, skating tonight. So that's been the 44 mile Nickel Play Trail vlog. Um, and if anything, my arms hurt from holding up the camera. <laughs> that's the only thing that didn't recover. Uh, and that's it. Thanks. Thanks.